Hello friends and welcome to Take Two for this Wednesday. It's home day, Wednesday the 29th of September 2021. I'm Jeannie, I'm so glad you decided to come with me in my garden and join me on the ride today. Well, look at this beautiful rose. I just have to show this to you. Okay, let me get this up a little closer. Isn't that beautiful? We've got a bunch of them growing here in our backyard. This is my yard right here and I absolutely love and I love what Michael's done with all of the garden here, uh, herbs and all that. And I've showed this to you before and I know I've done that, but I just have to tell you something about the roses themselves. So this is pretty remarkable. And that is this, you know, we haven't had a whole lot of success with growing roses, but for some reason this year, oh my goodness, they've just bloomed and bloomed and bloomed. Now you say, but I only see one or two right now. Well, that's because every time they grow, I like to go out there and trim, cut, cut them down, and take them to somebody. I have a, a sweet shut-in lady that lives in my, she lives in my neighborhood, and I go and I visit her. And she uh, has uh, not a whole lot of excitement in her life. She has her cat, who she loves, and you know, her family when they come and visit, and that sort of thing. But on a regular daily basis, it's nice to just bring a little bit of joy and color and excitement and fragrance. And the best way that I could do that is by cutting those roses, putting them in a vase and delivering them to her every once a week or so. So it's just amazing that every time I cut these roses and I think, well, that's it for the season, another one pops up, another bloom pops up. You know, I'm looking here and I'm seeing that there are so many buds yet to bloom and it's almost like the Lord God Almighty himself says listen I'm just going to keep replenishing these roses because every time you give one away I'm going to send another one to you so you could give that one away too and it's almost like a never ending supply of roses that we have that just keep blooming one right after the other and I started thinking about how God does that with us in general when we give a good thing away, it's not like that's it, we're all done now. It's as if he just keeps replenishing good things in our lives. There is a saying that says you can't outgive God, and I really believe that's true. Every time we give, we give of our time, or we give of our money, or we give of our other resources, or we give a rose away we will be blessed in return i really believe that's true you should give expecting nothing in return but then won't you just be amazed and sit back and watch as you get so much in return for your goodness i really truly believe that so just like these beautiful roses i'm going to go back and so you could see it again just like these beautiful 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 roses oh my goodness look at that gorgeous rose just like those beautiful roses listen don't skimp on your giving don't skimp on doing good don't skimp on anything that you could give of yourself with a pure heart because you keep giving God will replenish. Now listen, go ahead and be a blessing to somebody today. Hey, that ties right in with this thought. Go be a blessing because you may end up being the only one who is. And I know there's times where I'm the only one bringing my friend her roses. I'm never going to stop doing that as long as they're blooming in my garden. And uh, because, and also, uh, don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel. I'm just all worked up from these roses this morning. Um, don't forget to subscribe to uh, J-E-A-N-N-E-S-I-G-L-E-R. Hit the subscribe button, the notification bell. I'll let you know when I post another take two. Hey, listen, one more thing. Don't forget this weekend, Saturdays on ultimateoldiesradio.com at 9 a.m. and 9 p.m. Eastern. That's 8 Central. And then again on Oldies. 700.com, oldie700.com at uh, 5 a.m. and p.m. Um, that's Eastern, that's 4 o'clock Central. You could hear my radio program through the eyes of a New York woman. We're having a lot of fun recording and producing those shows. So please tune in. I know that you'll appreciate it. Okay, I love you all very much. Have a wonderful, fabulous week, uh, end of the week and weekend as we roll into October. And I will see you next week at the same time. I love you. Bye-bye.